Okay, everyone, uh, <laughs> welcome back to game two. You can hear Sanjay chuckling there. Um, he just drew another agenda. Sometimes. This is a nightmare. So, so let's just let's just go straight into it. Okay, um, see the other episode for intros. Uh, so we've got Cable Carnage playing Spark, uh, which hasn't lost a game um, for the whole tournament, and we've got um, Super Ninja Ruben, who is also on Gabe. Now, let's. There just... are twelve agenda points in the game already. How many total? Is it fifteen? No, he'll be paying a 20 agenda point deck. So. Oh my god! Oh my god, he just drew another agenda! This is... this is not good this for This is Dan. insane! Okay, so let's this just... This is insane! Can we also just... Oh. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. So oh, I'm, I'm quickly going to load up um, Cobra.ai because I believe... Oh, uh, no. Now, my understanding is that um, Dan has the strongest strength of schedule here. So I believe that if... I think that means we're already decided I think that means that Dan has won because he won the last game. Um, Dan has just opened install a 4-2 and a 5-3 agenda. They're on a and, and Super Ninja to run it. Okay, yeah, Dan is... Oh, this is brutal. Dan is open installing. Fucking hell. Yeah, I mean, there's not much else he can really do, but Ruben will check, like... Ruben is going to check everything. Um, but why, can I ask a question immediately, why install the 5-3 in server 3 instead of the 3-2? Because at least with the Project Beer, you could have scored it out. Um, because we, uh, Ruben has to pay to steal the Bologna, so um, like uh, Dan's minimising his risk here. So he wants, the agendas he wants stolen are the Exploder Palooza because it gives him credits and the Bologna because um, Ruben has to steal to pay it so it slows him down. The cards he doesn't want stolen are the Remastered because it lets him fast advance and the Beal because that um, is the most kind of click efficient uh, agenda that he has to win the game. So that's why he's kind of keeping those in HQ and risking the other ones, um, which uh, Ruben's just found the Bologna, I believe, and chosen not to steal it. Chosen not to steal it yet. Do you think he yeah. fears the, uh, the punitive? Um, I'm not sure really. I. Yeah, I, I, I think he's playing... Well, I mean, he already got... Yeah, actually, it would have been the same turn, right? So he would have been able um, to get it punitive been, yeah. for five points instead of two. So, yeah, yeah, I think so. And if the key thing there as well, I think, is that because Dan is open installing agendas, Ruben now knows he's flooded. So there, Ruben is just like, this game is mine to throw away now. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, so taking that... Look, boom, he's on... He's on five agenda points at what turn? What turn is it? Turn two, turn three, turn three, turn five, yeah. sorry. So, Ooh. yeah, so clicking up for credits there to minimize um, the risk of punitive. So he could still get punitive once if Dan put all his money into it, but he couldn't get punitive twice. So um, he'd still be in the game. So, yeah, this is. I mean, did Dan just mandatory draw another agenda? Or <laughs> no, he, he drew an ice switching sword. Okay, cool. No, he drew an ice, drew an ice. But he, he drew agendas for his first three turns. Like, it's just crazy. I, I mean... Yeah, this is brutal. And especially, um, I mean, it's Gabe as well. So he's incentivized to run HQ. Dan yeah. has to assume that there's a sneak door in hand. And in fact, there's two. But there's just nothing he can do about it. So we're seeing a jam for the remastered into um, server three here. There's no advance on it. So he can't score it next he... turn. He can, he's got the Project Labour, that's why he's done it. So he's biotic, and then oh. advance out that way. Yeah, so nice now he doesn't spot, have Sanj. to advance it. Yeah, yeah very nice Ooh, spot. Pop up window. Thanks, okay. man. So, yeah, pop up window, I mean, pop up window is going to give Dan money, and also he's probably not worried about uh, Ruben finding agendas there because they're all in HQ. <laughs> he's like, run RD, there are none in the deck. How many more agendas in the deck in RD? Do you know? Uh, so, we've got to count the points. So, we're on uh, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14, so 6 left. Um, there's definitely 2 bills, so I'd imagine it's 2 bills and a, another remastered. So, three. so he's got a 2, he's got a two, like 2 or 3 chance in 32, it's a 1 in 10 at best. Yeah. You know, but that's the, really, uh, you know, 10% chance of being an agenda in R&D. He, I, I imagine Dan's just like, yeah, go on, go for it, mate. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um... Yeah, so and there's see, the biotic. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so this this score of the remastered sets Dan up to start comboing um, Beals. Unfortunately, he's only got one in hand. 
Um, but he's only got one remaster token. So I don't know if there's going to be a way for Dan to somehow try and get a second remastered scored. Um, oh, and there he's into HQ. He's got three and five. Well, I, well, I mean, I think Ruben may bounce here, install the sneak door and then run archives. I don't... I mean, because he's going to want to put the sneak door down anyway. But no, he, he takes he the tag. He took the tag. Okay. And he's allowing to fire. So how much do you think Cable Carnage will spend on the trace? I don't, I don't think he'll um, boost. No, he hasn't boosted. Yeah, it's well just done, yeah. yeah, like it's not it's not worth um, spending money. He doesn't have any tag punishment cards in hand, so he's spending his whole economy to try and get that token. And there's is, the is Wow, that was brutal. Yeah, that was that was a quick game. That was a very quick game. That was unbelievable. I've never seen a game like that before. Yeah. <sighs> but um, yeah, so I checked and. Um, uh, we have uh, Dan's on 24 points, Ruben's on 21, and Dan's got the strongest strength of schedule. So um, Ruben needed to win both games in order to take first place. So as it stands, he's uh, okay. at second place because Dan took that first game. Oh, okay. So they finish on the same points, but Dan's got the strongest strength of schedule. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. So Dan was three points ahead going into this. Oh, he was three points ahead going into this. Okay. Fine, fine. So if he'd won both, he'd have been on the same points, but possibly got on a better strength of schedule because he'd just beaten Dan twice, right? Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, no, oh, sorry. Fine. Let me just do it from scratch. So Dan going into this is three points ahead. So um, if they both win one each, Dan just wins on points. There's no way that Ruben, unless they there's some kind of weird tie-in going on, I don't know. But no, I don't think there's any way they finish on the same points. So Ruben's only chance to win is to win both games, and then he finishes three points above Dan, and strength of schedule doesn't matter. So um, yeah, but it's it's pretty pretty impressive as well because chatting to Ruben, um, like his deck. He kind of just built the deck for fun. He didn't really play it to be as competitive. You know, that's why he's playing stuff like Quest Complete. But he's just a really good player. He's just really, really good. We're really lucky to have him in clone. Um, yeah. And I think you can, you know, both of these guys. Like, I've seen, I watched one of Dan's earlier games. I think it was round two. I think he had four agendas in hand um, by the end of turn three. And he came back to win. Like, wow, from four agendas in hand. What? I think so. Yeah, Dan. Maybe if uh, if I'm wrong, Dan can correct me. But yeah, like these guys are both amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's. I I think they've both done such a good job. And in addition, a really big shout out to Dan, who did a, the bulk of the deck building for this tournament, so that we could put up sample decks for all of the popular IDs for all of the new players. So Dan, not only has he only dropped one game, this game we just saw over the whole tournament of five rounds but actually he spent most of the lead up to the tournament just building decks for other people that i then told him he wasn't allowed to play <laughs> so <laughs> how did he feel about that when you uh, informed him of this uh, decision <laughs> no it's fine it's it's a tradition now it's a tradition so he he did the okay. same thing i think in the last tournament i he didn't come back to win i believe alex won the last one but dan once again i i kind of gave him ideas that people thought were gonna get crushed every single round and and he he did pretty good with it so anyway i think um sandra i think we'll probably finish it up there yeah let's round it up i'm, I'm sorry that I'm, I'm actually a little bit disappointed it's so short because it's like you know uh you know where, where's dan's base where's dan's base uh so dan's currently based in munster but he uh munster. may be considering relocating he's he's kind of having some thoughts about some different places i'm desperately hoping he'll come to cologne and become part <laughs> of our uh growing matter here but um, yeah 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 but anyway uh let's finish up um i'm just gonna uh final words if anyone is interested in netrunner or um this tournament or taking part and this is you know one of the first videos you've watched there's some information down in the description that you uh will uh, you can follow the links and get more information it's a really great game i play it a lot sanjay also plays it a lot <laughs> oh my god i love it it's amazing like and uh Unfortunately, that game was so short for anyone watching this that is, is fairly new. It was hard to have the time to explain what was going on yeah. because it was over. <laughs> kind of like... Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll finish this up here. I've got to now play my final game from this tournament uh, very shortly, I think. Um, and yeah, Sanch, thanks very much for coming on and uh, being my commentator. This is the first game that I've live commentated for Netrunner and uh, it's also your first game and thank you very much for coming on and, and doing it with me. No, 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 thank you Craig, thank you for organising the tournament, it's been, uh, it's been an absolute blast, I've had uh, 
I had I've, I had one of the best games of my life in the last round of the tournament, actually, to be quite honest. So uh, it's been it's, it's been bloody great, actually. Thank you so much, Craig. Cool. Right. See you around. Bye. See you guys later. Bye. Always be running.